Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at this, the Epifan Pearl Mini. For those of you that don't know, the Pearl Mini is an all-in-one media processing unit that can switch, record, and live stream video content. And it's designed in a way that even the most technically inept users can operate it to create engaging and dynamic content. It is absolutely perfect for lecture capture type installations. And it's neatly designed so that it can be tucked away, sat on a desk or mounted on a lectern without taking up too much space. On the rear of the unit, you've got plenty of connection types for inputting your audio and video sources. You can input a camera feed or any video source via the HDMIs, SDI, USBs or Ethernet ports. On the front, there's a large touchscreen for the user to be able to change settings, change shots and start and stop their recording and live streams. When the unit is powered up, I can connect to it from any browser on the same network to access the admin panel. This is where you get full control over the system and of course you can password protect this. You can actually access the admin panel directly from the Pearl Mini itself. You just need to plug in a keyboard and mouse to the USB ports and of course a monitor to the HDMI output. In the layout designer, we can easily create some, well, you guessed it, different layouts that we'll be able to cut to. I can add in any of our connected audio and video sources and position them wherever I want in the frame. It's very much drag and drop. We could also load in still images, graphics and text too if we wanted. So let's create a setup for a popular scenario where we have a presenter who has a slide deck that they're running through. Now I'm going to create three layouts, one for the presentation deck to be full screen on its own, the other to be the camera with the presenter on there full screen on its own, and then the third is going to be a split screen or a picture in picture on one side, the presenter camera, and on the other we'll have the presentation deck side by side. Now the Pearl Mini works best when switching between up to three full HD video inputs. It's technically possible to add more if using IP cameras, but this will increase the load on the CPU, so do so mindfully. Now once we've created and saved these three layouts, if we look at the built-in touchscreen on the Pearl Mini, we can now see that we have these three layouts to choose between. It's then simply a case of tapping on the shot you want to make live and hitting apply. These layouts and overall settings are saved onto the Pearl Mini, so even when it is powered off and on again, it defaults back to what we set up. So the recordings are saved to an inserted SD card on the front. You can actually also transfer those recordings to a USB stick inserted again in the front, or you can set the Pearl Mini to record to network storage. Once we've tweaked all of our settings in the admin panel, when the user comes to the touchscreen on the Pearl Mini, they'll just be presented with the individual shots that they can cut between, as well as starting and stopping their live stream or recording. Within the admin panel, we can actually control just how much control our users have on the touchscreen. So we can make it as streamlined as possible, so ultimately, they can't really break anything. The Pearl Mini can easily work with popular content management platforms, with full API integration for the likes of Kaltura and Panopto, where it's possible to schedule recordings and live streams automatically. So a lecturer can walk into their classroom and on the Pearl Mini touchscreen it'll actually say what lesson is coming up and what time it's going to start. So the lecturer doesn't actually have to touch the Pearl Mini at all, it will just automatically kick off, start recording and start live streaming. Crestron developed an approved driver specifically for Pearl encoders. So if you're planning to install this in an environment that uses Crestron, you can consolidate the Pearl Mini's controls to the one unified system. And for admins and technical support, you can set the Pearl Mini up so that you can access its admin panel from anywhere over an internet connection. This is really going to be ideal for remote maintenance, troubleshooting, or in high key events, controlling the switching, recording, and streaming remotely. So I hope that's given you a good idea as to what this system is about. Now, if you've got any questions, do just pop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And if you want to find out some more information on the Pearl Mini, then just head over to the Holden website. Thank you very much for watching.